Enov is the Italian air navigation service provider. So we're not only responsible about the air traffic control activities over the Italian airspace, but we also deliver meteorological services in terms of forecast and observations in the 39 airports under our responsibility. Together with our control company, TechnoSky, we decided to um, redesign completely and develop uh, a complete set of airport meteorological softwares. And so, after years of research, we've uh, came out with our own AVOS system and our own RT system. So, highlighting the main features of our AVOS systems, I would have to start from the fact that it has been designed involving directly the end users, meaning that in the design phase we've involved air traffic controllers, observers, forecasters and maintenance personnel. Another strong point of the system is that we want it to be completely independent from census manufacturers, so all the calculations are performed at server level. So the system will be easily upgradable uh, in line with future ICAO amendments. So zooming in uh, in the various components, I will show you now our uh, tower client, the observer client and the main server uh, position. So looking at the uh, tower client, we see here that all the main informations for the air traffic controllers are displayed, displayed in a very clear and effective way. The air traffic controller can perform the main uh, operations such as changing the runway in use and signaling eventually eventual noise abatement uh, um, actions then we can eventually signal the fact that the runway is being occupied and of course we find all the classic informations that an air traffic controller needs I would like to point out the fact that even the color scheme has been designed um, together with our um, human factor department so it's, um, uh, it's a color scheme that is um, uh, clearly visible and has been approved and tested by our air traffic controllers. Every single field has a tooltip um, uh, capability so that air traffic controllers, even the less expert one, can actually understand very, very clearly what value is being displayed at a certain moment. As far as it concerns the observer position, we find here all the necessary tools to allow the observers to um, prepare and then dispatch uh, MET bulletins. So, in addition to a number of statistic bulletins that can be compiled either in manual or automatic way, we find, of course, the most important bulletins in, uh, in the aviation field. We're talking about METAR and MET report. In the center part of the screen, we can see data necessary to prepare, matter data to prepare the matter, local report data necessary to prepare the MET report, and of course an overview of the sensor status along the runway and real-time data coming from the field. The strong point of this client position is the bulletin compilation tool. The bulletin compilation tool that allows um, the observers uh, to prepare the tool and automatically verify it before it's, um, it's dispatched. For an instance, if we put here a uh, high visibility value and signal fog as present weather, when we verify, it will tell us the system automatically that signaling fog in present weather cannot be possible with visibility above 1000 meters. So when we change to a more coherent value, for instance 800 meters and we verify the system will check successfully we come to our uh, server uh, position and of course uh, it is used by maintenance personnel to verify the correct functioning and status of the overall system it is important to highlight that great attention was put in uh, to this element as uh, TechnoSky has in its court maintenance activities so not only we find uh, Clearly and in an easy way, uh, they, the layout of the sensors and the elements along the runway and their status, we have the possibility in case of malfunctioning or in case of incoherent data from one sensor, we have the possibility to disable it and not including its, uh, the, the data that we feel we're not so confident about in the eventual MET report. And uh, of course we have information on MET data, local report data, 
real-time data, instant data, and also to allow fault detection activities displaying directly the raw data coming from the various sensors or from the data logger. We can also monitor the status of the overall system even at database level, so we have a display of the system architecture telling us if all the elements are correctly, correctly functioning. And then we can have, as far as it concerns eventual status details, we can see in case of abnormal situation, not only the identification, but we also have a tooltip indication allowing the maintenance personnel to verify what kind of error is being currently displayed and gather additional information prior to the intervention on the field. The last element of, uh, of our uh, suite is the ATIS system, so uh, the airport terminal information system that gathers all the information coming from the field and uh, uh, synthesizes it with a very powerful text-to-speech tool and then dispatches it automatically on a VHF for pilots arriving uh, at the airport. Visibility, 800 meters, RVR, touchdowns only. Of course, the ATIS message can be prepared and is prepared in an automatic way, but the operator can in any time enter uh, the message compilation tool, adding additional information, verifying that the information being dispatched is correct and it's well uh, composed and the voice message is correctly uh, synthesized and, uh, and produced. As we can see in the main, uh, this message data, data screen.